Hello and welcome back to another artsy fartsy tutorial. It's not a tutorial. It's more of just me trying to make something out of another ADHD type purchase that I made. And you know what? I'm having a lot of fun. It's my first time doing polymer clay and it was kind of frustrating at first. I think it's just because it feels like plastic mixed with play-doh and I just wasn't used to it and here I am in the throes of creating a spamusubi hair clip I don't know what came over me or I think it's because my sister was like you know it'd be a good idea you should make spamusubi hair clips or just try it out and I was like sick I'll try it out and I know that polymer clay probably isn't the best media for the clip but it's okay, this is all just experimentation. I just realized that life is just about a series of projects and then we pass. <laughs> Not to sound existential about it, but it's true. It, I, at least it helps me cope with life. Not that life is horrible. I've changed my mindset around that. I don't know how I got into this little tangent. I told you, my blab like my blabbing is just out of control and I'm just gonna keep blabbing but you know what what is life without a series of side quests I just wanted to try this out maybe plastic would have worked more like if I had a mold if I created this into a mold first you know I created this little uh, spam musubi polymer clay mold and then I somehow turned it into plastic. That would be cool. It would be more lightweight, but it's okay. So I formed this polymer clay into an isometric angle of a spam musubi because I didn't want it to be just an overhead angle of a musubi and I also didn't want it to be just from the side. I feel like it just doesn't show how hefty or how, uh, I don't know, robust a musubi could be there's just a lot to it there's obviously the slice of spam then you've got the rice i didn't add the egg in the middle because i was just i didn't want to deal with that and then you've got the nori which is the seaweed sheet that wraps around it okay this part i was struggling i was trying to find the perfect angle to um to create this nori sheet and to wrap the the uh, the musubi that I just created, and I was having a hard time because it's an isometric angle. I didn't know how to deal with it. So here is me going through different iterations. And at first, I was like, "This is working out way better than the first one," because the first one didn't work out. Let me try out this angle where I just kind of trace it. And, um, and fit it on. No, it did not work well either. I mean, it looks fine now in retrospect of rewatching this video, but I gotta try it a third time. So this time, I did it by placing the musubi that I already created, and I kind of just traced around it, if that makes sense. And I got the angle, the exact angle, and I formed a new nori sheet from it. And I just depended on the contours of the existing um, clay piece that I just made. And just as uh, just a little side note, I know I didn't, I realize I didn't acknowledge the already made musubi that I created on the left hand side. That one is um, the first iteration. It has more rice grains in it. And this one that I'm handling right now, I wanted to try out a version where it's just a minimal amount of rice grains so it just kind of implies that the whole mass is made of rice. I just wanted to try it out. Um, I think in retrospect I actually kind of kind of like the uh, the fuller grain rice look and here I got a bunch of clips that I got from from Amazon and I'm just testing out where I could place them and what I'm going to do is start embedding them into the clay 
and pressing them out. So I just create little indentations and I cut it out with this X-Acto knife just so I could more or less carve out um, a deeper incision so that I could end up burying the, the clip in there so it's not just jutting out. And it was kind of tricky because I just didn't know how it would turn out after, you know, everything was dry and eventually I'm going to paint this and cure it with uh, UV resin. It was kind of a tricky process because, again, this is really my first time messing with polymer clay. And I don't know why I decided, you know what's a good idea? Let me make these giant ass hair clips and see if it'll work out. I should, I could have tried out little charms at first, but you know what? Go big or go home because what's the point of doing anything if it's not big? Now I'm testing out the oven. I'm not testing it out. I'm turning on the oven and I didn't want to use my gigantic oven for this because it was already hot. I didn't want to deal with a hot environment at night right before I'm about to go to sleep. And here they are fully baked. I had to wait for them to cool down. So the next morning I started by mixing up my acrylics and you know I held off on buying golden acrylics for the longest time because I was like too cheap. Then I thought to myself life is short why am I gonna skimp out on this? I've already dealt with cheap items as a child it's time for me to just buy things because they work <laughs> and they work really well. I love these, uh, these golden acrylics and I mixed, uh, essentially the primary colors, but not, uh, but I guess, uh, versions of primary colors. So I had a yellow ochre, a cobalt blue, I believe, and I think ca cadmium red. And I just mixed a combination of those three, mostly with a lot of the red and the yellow. And I got this spam color and I painted. And I, looking back, I wish I would have gotten different colors of uh, clay, you know, like primary colors, and actually just use that to make the actual color of the nori sheet, make the actual color of the spam and use the white only for the rice, just so I don't have to do this, do this painting process. But it's okay, it's all part of the learning process. Pretty close. I'm glad I got the color right. And this is the color that it turned out with. Um, so I'm very sort of shocked, I guess, with how it turned out. And I'm using more golden acrylics with this. Ooh, look at that gloop of white. Love it. I'm just covering up all the random spam colored spots that accidentally got on the rice. And because the clay dried somewhat slightly off white, I try to paint all of the rice grains with the, the white acrylic. And I'm finishing off the seaweed color on the back of the clips. And honestly, I feel like these, these would have made really good magnets but I decided not to. I decided to make clips out of it. And now this is the UV resin part. This part, I can't even begin to describe how frustrated I get with UV resin because I'm still learning. This is, you know, I'm still in my beginning stages. This is why I love art. It's a love-hate relationship with art because I'm expecting to be really good at something in the beginning. Or not really good. I expect things to turn out well. I expect things to turn out smooth. So I've laid on the resin, I cured it, and it's sticking! How could I have not known it would have stuck really bad to this, especially the second one, like w bits of the rice actually started coming off, so I had to slice it off. And now I'm flipping them upside down, giving it more resin, and I'm gonna cure the underside of this. And one thing that I am pleasantly surprised about with this resin is that it cured very smoothly. Maybe it's because I applied a lot of it. And here they are, fully cured. What I am not happy about is they look a little scratched, but 
maybe that's just the way I handle it. So I'm just wiping it off with alcohol pads. And you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of getting my nails done. It feels like a very similar um, process. Now I'm applying wood glue and putting the clips on. And this part I was like, oh no, this might be a little more difficult than I expected because the resin created a different layer or a thicker layer on top of the indentations I had created. So they didn't nestle in very properly. So now I'm using these binder clips to just set them into place. And it said wait for 20 to 30 minutes for them to fully set. Because this one, the binder clip didn't fit because the musubi was a little thicker for that uh, full rice grain one. I just put these ceramic tiles on top of it. And apparently ceramic tiles are very good with baking in the oven. That's why it's, I like working on them. It's a great surface. So after they fully dry, took them off. And then I'm going to do some random tests to see if they work. And I don't know, I think... There's something about putting them on the tile that they started looking a little, uh, dusty? I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. Because if you see for this one, like, the clip is working really well. I turn it the other way, and there's just one spot that looks, yeah, see, it's all, like, kind of scratched up on that full green rice. You see that? Oof. But all in all, I was, I was very happy that it actually opened and closed and look at this one, but ah, the scratches are bothering me so much. It's like the paint almost came off. Maybe it's because after the curing process, I need to let them cure fully in the sun. I've seen that as a as a little tip, not just using the um, the UV lamp. But bam, those little like discolored edges are really bothering me. But look how the clip is opening and closing. So cool. I'm happy with how these turned out. Now let's test them on because I don't know if they're going to be too heavy. But I don't know. I'm. It turned out a lot better than I expected. Because usually a lot of my experimentations low-key turn into disasters. These might be a little heavy. But we'll see. Let's try the heavier one. And after testing this out one. these clips, I realized the hair clip is only as good as your hair clip. I know that sounds a little stupid, but it doesn't matter what your design is. I could have made a different design other than the Span Musubi. The hair clip itself is not stable enough. It's not sturdy. But it does feel a little heavy on the hair. I think this is better as a magnet, but I think it's kind of cool. I mean, a necklace. This might look a little nuts. Yo, this looks crazy. This is so crazy. That was a shorter clip. I'm gonna try out the longer clip. I want to see if I could test this out on a higher end clip, and I'm sure it's gonna turn out so much better. But I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, a chain with this musubi clip would be kind of sick. But thanks for sticking around. And if you got this far, comment SPAM in all caps, just so I know you're a real one. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!